there's a streamer named The Burnt Peanut who has been everywhere lately. He's all over TikTok, he's all over YouTube Shorts, and a ton of people have been asking how to do his Burnt Peanut Snapchat filter on a PC inside of OBS. The truth is that there are advanced ways to build this inside of Blender and Lens Studio, but instead of a long technical tutorial, I wanted to show you guys the simplest possible method to achieve this. So this won't be like a 30 minute tutorial, it's gonna be like an eight minute tutorial. We are using Snap Camera to access a full library of hundreds of filters, all completely free. And most of these filters also have a green screen element to them, so now you can use them just how the burnt peanut uses them. I figured a quick tutorial like this would just be more helpful to newcomers who just love burnt peanut setup. And the actual app Snap Camera was actually discontinued in 2023. So if you were to download Snap Camera and open it up, there would be no filters. You couldn't really use it at all. But there is a quick working method that will bring all of the filters back. And I'll walk you through the whole setup using a simple patch. So step one, we are actually going to go in and download Snap Camera. Now, you can't can't find snap camera on a ton of a ton of websites now but up to down is the best website that i have found that doesn't have it has a ton of ads on it yes i know but it doesn't come with any spyware it doesn't have extra apps that's that's inside of the download you essentially what you're downloading is what you're downloading uh, so if you scroll down here at the bottom don't click on any of these download buttons you'll find the one down here this green one it'll say download free 163 uh, 86 megabytes and then it will have a little download icon here you're going to click on that guy for now let's just put this on our desktop i actually have already downloaded this so i'm going to hit cancel but you guys can put it wherever you want put it on your desktop and hit save now we're going to click on the setup here and it will open up the snap camera setup wizard we're going to hit next oh by the way it should be 1.20.0 uh, so we're going to hit next it'll download to program files snap ink snap camera uh, we're gonna I'm actually gonna copy this real quick while we're here we're gonna want this address in a second and hit next and hit next you can choose if you want a desktop shortcut or not then hit next again and hit install and now this will install on our computer so if we launch a snap camera you guys can uncheck this but I'm just gonna show you real quick what it looks like if you don't have the patch built in snap camera is actually going to uh, look like this. There are no lenses. There are no filters. There's nothing here. You can't really do anything. You can go into the settings, but that's about it. Uh, so we're going to hit cancel on this guy. The next step is actually a method that comes from a user named Jaku on GitHub. He's awesome. Go check out his Twitch and I will link it below. Jaku actually created this snap camera. It's a Snapchat reverse uh, where you can basically reverse snap camera and the shutdown that happened. Um, by basically creating a patch file of the actual executable application. That's a lot of tech jargon to say. He, he found a way to unlock all of those filters again. So what you're going to do is you're going to find snap camera file. This is where we're going to actually choose our application. Uh, so the thing that you copied a second ago will, will come in handy here. So we're going to hit choose file. And then if you go up to the top address bar here, you can actually paste where the uh, the address that we copied a second ago and hit enter this will bring you to this folder i already had it open um but it'll bring you to this folder if you didn't copy it for whatever reason it's in this pc windows c program files snap ink then camera or snap camera and if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom you'll see snap camera this is the application we don't want the uninstall we want the application we're gonna hit open and now I know that we downloaded 1.20 rather than 1.21. This will be fine. Just leave it at 1.21 here and then hit apply patch. This is going to download a new exe file that we're going to put in that same spot. Um, but sometimes if you try to save this straight to that folder, um, Google Chrome or Windows will be like, hey, do you want to do that? So I'm going to save it to my desktop first, but I'm going to get rid of this little tagline here at the end. Then I'm going to hit save. So now what we can do is we can open up File Explorer and up here we can actually paste this again. This will bring us back to where we need to paste this guy. And because I saved it to my desktop, if I minimize this, you'll see we now have Snap Camera up here. I can move this into this folder and then replace the file in this destination. Hit continue. And now the new patched snap camera file is here. If we were to double click on this, you'll see now we actually get all of our filters back 
all we had to do was was add this patch and we can add in like we can search the different lenses in here which we will do in a second um, but first what i'm going to do is set my camera up in this guy so you guys can see me inside of snap camera so now you guys can see my camera inside of snap camera i'm going to close this guy behind it uh, and we can see all of our lenses are here now i can click on any of these guys and start using it immediately um, which is kind of cool uh, if you tap on the screen it'll actually give you like different variations uh, and then we can search in here if we want like a potato we can do the potato effect so now you may be wondering austin okay that's cool but how do we actually get this inside of obs well let's move on to that i'm going to drag over my obs window real quick and what we're going to do is we are going to add a new source into our scene we're going to choose a video capture device we can call it snap camera hit okay in the properties for snap camera you'll see right now it's on elgato virtual camera but if you hit the drop down you'll see snap camera shows up so if we hit that now my camera pops back up you can hit okay and let's drag this snap camera back up to the top here and now we can go and use our filter so if i were to show my screen again real quick so now you guys will be able to see whatever i click on in here so if i click on that potato again now i'm inside of obs and i can turn off my window capture and now the potato is fully on the screen uh, if i want to i can go and actually click on let me bring this back i can click anywhere in this window uh, right here and it will actually change it to something that you can cut out at an ultra key to or a, a color key or a chroma key to and then um, be able to use this filter let's choose another one let's say we wanted a peanut like the burnt peanut we can actually choose this peanut right here the lighting on this one I, is not the best <laughs> it's like a peanut in the dark but it is a peanut uh, and you can click on the peanut and also get an ultra key uh, or a green screen color key so if i were to turn this window capture off real quick and then um actually let's do the potato i like the potato one a lot more there's also different like versions of the potato so you could do like a christmas one that's kind of cool that's kind of cool um and then let's turn this window off let's turn this to green screen and then we're going to go into the snap camera i'll just show you guys what i'm doing real quick so what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to add a green screen like color key to our snap camera so i've made myself a little bit smaller in the corner here if i go into snap camera and i go to filters It'll bring up this guy i can go into the video filters and do a chroma key and if you just choose green it will automatically choose a green that actually cuts it all out how you want it to uh, if you need to adjust it for whatever reason you can um but for mine leaving it around where it was is is probably the best and then you can make yourself bigger and move yourself around in the scene wherever you want and that is how <laughs> that is how it's done that's how you do basically what the burnt peanut does but very very simplistic uh very simple the cool thing about this like i said is that you can go in and choose just whatever you want like you can go in um any filter here that you want to use you can use some of these are actually pretty good uh some of them are pretty bad but you do have a ton of options that you can mess around with and utilize then you can actually end up building cool like little sets like this if you have a foreground image and a background video or a background image you can end up making stuff that ends up looking like this this is actually a background that we built for john c stout so shout out to him it's very very cool you can build your own scenes you can set it up and this is actually how peanut does it he'll have different layers inside of obs and then he'll use lens studio rather than snap camera which i will end up probably making a video on how to do every like all of this from scratch go pick your own models and all of that i know that there's some other tutorials out there that you can also watch for that but i figured that a simple simplistic tutorial that gets you the basics and exactly what you need in under eight minutes would probably be appreciated by some of the people out there so if you like this tutorial and you enjoyed it please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video